Hello everyone, I'm David and welcome back to another first aid skills video. In this week's video, we're going to be going over how to treat burns. Now there are four different types of burns. There's thermal, there's electrical, there's chemical, and there's radiation. All of them have fairly similar treatments. However, some do have special considerations to keep in mind. In this week, we're going to go over thermal and radiation burns more specifically. So thermal burns are caused by anything uh, where an elevated temperature has caused the injury to the body part. So that'd be touching a stove, um, touching fire, and when it comes to radiation, uh, a sunburn is the most common radiation burn. So there's three different times of types of thermal burns. There's superficial, there's partial thickness, and there's full thickness. So when dealing with a superficial burn, it's pretty standard. It's what you've seen before. You've touched the stove, you've got a red kind of irritant, irritated skin on your hand or on an arm or somewhere. What you want to do is take some cool running water and just run it over the burned area. The point of this is to cool the burn so that the damage to the tissues stops. Now we want to run water over this for about 10 minutes. So once we've run water over it and it's cooled, continue to watch it, but that should be enough for a superficial burn. Now for partial thickness burns, this is where you're going to start seeing blisters forming, uh, swelling in the area. These burns are a little bit more serious. If you're dealing with it and the blister opens, we recommend that you give a call to 911 because now you're dealing with an open wound that can get infected. If it stays closed, they don't need to go see a, a doctor, although it is recommended to go see one. Now with partial thickness, we want to make sure that we remove any clothes that are around the area. If anything is stuck to the burn, don't pull it off. Just remove what's around. Take off any jewelry. Again, take your water, pour it over the infected area for 10 minutes to cool it. Once it's cool, we want to actually take a sterile bandage and wrap it around because we want to protect that now blistered skin from any other damage. Once it's protected, wait for 911 to get there if you called them or if they don't want to uh, protect it until it's done healing. Now with the bandages for both um, partial thickness and full thickness, we want to make sure it's a dry sterile, not gauze bandage. So gauze is those uh, bandages that typically come in squares and they have the individual threading all throughout it. We don't want to use those because gauze has a tendency to stick to burns. So if you apply it directly to a burn and when they go to take it off at the hospital, the burn can actually heal to the gauze. And then when you take that off, it tears all that healed tissue off and reopens your wound. So use dry, smooth, sterile bandaging. Now for a full thickness burn, this is where you run into that um, waxy white skin. It might even be black and look like charcoal depending on how severe it is. Uh, they may not have pain in the actual area because the pain receptors have all burned off and died. The surrounding area may still have pain in it, however. Treatment for this, same, make sure you remove clothing from around the area. Don't take anything off the top or that's connected to it. Take your water, pour it on, 10 minutes to cool the burn. Take your bandaging, wrap the burn to protect it. And for full thickness, we want to call 911 because this is an open wound and the odds of infection are quite high. So have them relax. 
be comfortable and wait until uh, 911 gets there. When dealing with full thickness burns or large burns that cover a large area, we want to make sure to monitor the person's temperature. People may get cold when they get full, like full thickness or large area burns. So we want to make sure we prevent hypothermia by keeping them warm if they're complaining of being cold, giving them a blanket or something, which is especially important in children because they're more susceptible to it. So now for radiation burns, so you sit there, you're in the sun for four hours. Now you got a radiation burn from the sun. Treatment, same as whichever degree of burn it was, it'll most likely be superficial. Cool it with water, 10 minutes, take care of it. So there's some times when calling 911 is highly recommended when dealing with burns. And this is any time a burn affects someone's breathing, any time they're in severe pain or if they lose consciousness. If the burn covers face, neck, hands, uh, or any part of the genitals, or is a large, let's say like a full body burn, we want to call 911 as well. So that's it for this week's video. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you all next week. Bye.